All right, cool. We're uh, we're doing a beach mining day today. I'm here with Gary. Uh, Vernon had to leave town and do some business, so um, we couldn't go out on the big dredge today. So me and Gary decided let's go get some gold on the beach, huh? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, where are we going today? Uh, we're going to, uh, well, I, don't, I don't even know what the river's called, but we're Penny. going. Yeah, Penny. Pen, the Penny River, but it's 12 miles down the beach. But we found a good spot. I think we found a good spot. I mean, it's showing a lot of good promise, so uh, we're going to go down there and put a full day in and see what we can get. Yeah, we did uh, a couple pans, a couple test pans yesterday. How, how we do? Oh, test pans, I don't know, probably at least 150 colors in them, right? Yeah, the test pan showed uh, yeah. really well. It showed pretty good, so. Uh, Enough to go. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is um, where I have been beach mining. Usually, I go down a couple miles, grab some dirt, and then bring it back to the box. But today, me and Gary, we're gonna uh, grab that beach box, put it in the back of the truck, drive down 12 miles to the penny, and then uh, we're gonna shovel right next to the material, so we don't have to uh, drive back and forth and waste a lot of time. So, hopefully, um, that's gonna pay us up pretty good. Yeah, it should be a good day. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping for. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's hard to set a goal here because it's a new area, but the test pan showed pretty well if we don't have to drive. I'm shooting for six to 10 grams today is what I hope we can get. Yeah, that'd be great. Sound good? Yeah, All get right. more on the 10 or 15 side. <laughs> 10 or 15 would be, <laughs> it's, it's very possible we could get 15 today if, if yeah. the spot's super hot and it stays that way. But a lot of times um, we'll be mining and the, uh, there's a good spot for like 10 square feet and then um, and then it just fades away. So uh, just depending on the, the spot. My expectations are always set, that I set them way too high. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go grab that box and um, head down to the penny today. So this is the beach box we're gonna use today. I did have it kind of just set here and I would just drive down the beach, get my material in the back of the truck, come back and wash it here. Because there's uh, there's fresh water back there, that's why we do that. We need the water, there's a pond. Um, Gary's up here right now grabbing the motor. But yeah, there's a pond, so we just pump the water from the pond down to here, because uh, it's super hard. Uh, if you put a stinger, uh, you know, the foot valve into the ocean, it just rests on sand and it just sucks up sand the whole time. So it's, it's very hard to uh, get water from the ocean. So um, if you have a freshwater pond nearby, that's a way to do it. So Gary's over here now grabbing the parts. Hey, do we have a foot valve on this? No. Okay. Nope. I thought it might have got stuck in the mud. No, I had it so it was over the bank, so it was just like sitting in the water. You didn't really need a foot valve. I was just concerned that so where we're going today, uh, um, there's a river there, so we're going to get our water from the river and um, mine right on the beach. So this is where I get the water for the beach box here, where, where everyone, there's a, this is an old dredge pond right here. There's the old dredge in the back. So they dredged all this and now it's filled up with water and everyone uses it to get their uh, beach water. Dude, that looks heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Need a hand? You want to grab one in? Yeah. This I'll grab this in. Ready? Yeah, just put it right there for now. There we go. Okay. All right, there we go. Woo, this thing's heavy. Man, beautiful day out there. I wish we were out. But, uh, yeah, Vernon had to go back to uh, his hometown. He flew out for some business. But we'll be back tomorrow night, and we'll be hitting the ocean tomorrow. Oh, look, Alex packed out. He left uh, probably yesterday. It's starting to get cold here. The beach miners are kind of all packing up, going home. Hey, that's the box. There we go. I'll go roll up the hose from up here. So we got uh, probably like a hundred feet of lay flat hose, so we can go a hundred feet away from that river, which will be pretty cool. We're all loaded up. That was easy. Yeah. Didn't take long. That box is yeah. super light. Yeah, we're ready to go. So there's the beach box we got in the truck. We got some uh, supports right here. We'll put that under the legs so the legs don't wash out. Shit, five minutes, we're done. Okay, yeah. so uh, we're ready to go hit it, huh? Yeah, ready to go. Penny River is calling her name. Penny River, 12 mile drive. That's yep. a long way on the beach. Yeah, but, yeah. Hey, there's gold there. Yeah. So we'll see how much. So we're going 12 miles down the beach. Hopefully miles. we won't get stuck. And there's no cell phone. Uh, we had to ditch our spare tire because uh, we got too much crap. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll make it. All right, let's go. Let's get some gold. Oh yeah, we're about halfway down the beach so far. We probably went about six miles, huh? Yeah, six, at least six. And check it out. Look, look who's right in our area. That's a Christine Rose and the Myrtle. And I think the Christine Rose is exactly where we're going to be beach mining. Pretty funny. Yeah. 
and uh, we were here first. Uh, we were here yesterday afternoon. They just those guys just pulled out tonight, so we're not following them around. They're following us. <laughs> yeah, they're following <laughs> us for sure. <laughs> yeah, they're right. Uh, they're right where we're gonna be on the beach. I think we Close. might we might be a little past them. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, they're pretty close. We're gonna be within a few miles of where they are, probably. But uh, yeah, the, so the myrtles out there. Must be a good area out there in the ocean, both uh, the rose and myrtles out there. But so far on the beach, uh, there's a couple sandy spots. We almost got stuck a few times, but pulled through. And uh, there's this is Ken Carr's place. Uh, this big rig right here, it's a big huge clamshell. It's up on the, on the beach. I guess they had an accident washed ashore or something like that I'm not sure but this is uh, Ken Carr's compound and uh, when we get closer I'll, I'll show you all right there it is that's a mega mega huge clamshell dredge see that orange thing that orange thing goes uh, straight through uh, I don't know they must uh, sorry I don't know if it goes through the boat no they must uh, wing out and yeah, then it go down out, okay then it drops straight down and they, they grab it and then they pull it up and just dump it right there's the chute yep box. okay there's the box okay so that thing must go over the side go straight down and it takes a big huge chunk of the bottom and then it, it closes like a clam and then comes up and then drops it in their box and all that but look how big that thing is yeah that thing's massive massive, massive dreads big, they, big, they got big living dredge. quarters and everything freaking double stacked connexes <laughs> they got Jeez. they got six connexes on that six connex. that thing's huge yeah, I, I think something happened to it in a storm. So there it is. That's it's back end. So yeah, it's just that big clamshell goes down and just yep. eats the bottom, That's brings it up. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a good design. You don't see any out here working in them right now. So whether it was a good design or not, I have no idea. It's beach now. That's for sure. Yeah. So this is all Ken Carr's place. Uh, he's got a bunch of beach crawlers over there. Yeah, the only way here too is uh to ride like six miles down the beach yeah and then uh ahead of us looks like there's someone on the beach here i don't know maybe that's ken i don't even know we'll find out yep, we're gonna look and see. but uh yeah they, they got the excavator right in the sand this is a rare situation because normally they don't let heavy equipment work on the beach so this must be owned by ken kerr because they're actually working heavy equipment on the beach and that's that's yeah. normally a no-no but uh, this time, yeah, I'm sure. If you own it, I think it's okay. I don't know what the rules are, but maybe it's a patented claim or something. I don't know. Yeah, must be. We'll check it out, though. Yeah, look at that. He's doing it right. He knows how to. He's going right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how you beach mine right yeah, there. That's we, how I'd love to do it. We need one of those. That's the only thing with that, it gets a little dangerous if you dig your hole too deep. Sand kind of flows down into a cone. Like uh, when you're a kid on the beach and you dig a hole in the beach, you know, it just kind of cones in on itself. So the same thing on a bigger scale. So that guy has to watch out that that whole machine doesn't go down into the hole he's dug. I'd like to talk to him, but he's kind of busy. Yeah. See how he's got his buoy right there? I wonder. I wonder how his. Uh, yeah, that's how he gets his water. Yeah. So he has a buoy like held up. Uh, the buoy's holding up probably the foot valve or something. Yeah, I see two buoys. Yeah. <laughs> that's a big curve, right? I don't know. He's busy working. So yeah, that's cool. That's how you do it right there. I'm sure he's getting a lot of freaking gold. Probably, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd like to talk to that man. Yeah, just a one-man operation. Oh man, this is all soft sand right here. Oh, we, we made it. All right, so there's the rose right there, and we're probably gonna go a mile past them. Yeah, they're not gonna be you know, eyeballing us. Yeah, there's the myrtle. The myrtle's back there. Gonna go over this way. It looks like nice and soft. Oh yeah, we can floor it now. Let's see how fast we go. 30. <laughs> 40. Okay. Woo! Oh, yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> oh yeah. there's a big bump right here. You hit this thing and all the tires will fly off. Yeah, that boat's pulled up a lot of gold right there. Wonder what happened. The booms in the water, they're not they're not digging right now. Probably a breakdown. Box is yeah, the box is going. See the water flowing through the bottom. Oh, there it goes. Fresh scoop off the bottom of the Bering Sea. A couple grams of scoop. 
Christine Rose of the beach. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's the penny. We can't go any further. Yeah. Uh, that's too too deep to cross with uh, any vehicle. I don't see any tracks, four wheelers or anything. End of the so, line. Uh, yeah, this is the end of the line. We're going to go check it out. Where's this is where we're going to mine. So yesterday, uh, Gary got uh, right here. This is from us yesterday. Right, so right here, this little little area, it got a whole ton of colors and, and some bigger stuff. And what it is, it's just kind of clay. It's just like uh, sandy, clayish kind of stuff. And uh, down over here. Oh, that was my hole. This is where Gary got his stuff over here. Yeah, the best color was right here. This, here it is. So we might be able to come down in here. Yeah, see the clay? So this is just clay, regular like clay you would find on the bottom of the river. So he's kind of scraped this and there's a bunch of gold in it. You can see somebody's already been working yep. here. But now that we got our beach box right here, we don't have to worry about, you know, just high grading. We could just take whatever and throw it in the box. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to pump water. There's the river there. So I think we have enough line to bring a beach box. Um, we might just uh, put the beach box at the end here so the tailings just go off the thing. Yeah. We'll figure it out. First we got to do is just find out how much hose we got. So I'll go grab the hose and see where we set up the box. Well cool, so we got uh, the motor set up, we got the foot valve in, and we got plenty of blue hose to run. We even have way extra hose, so we can actually move down the, the beach quite a ways. But uh, we found the good gold right here, so we can set up the box there and uh, get to work. Hey. Hey. Oh, Gary got the box set up, looks good. We got it kind of roughly where it is. Uh, the front legs are still in the air, but uh. Back leg going. Uh, yeah. Let's get the water going. And let's we'll put it all together, I guess, huh? Yeah. So we got the the box like roughly where it should be. We're gonna fine tune it, but we're gonna get the water going, and then we can tell with the water what it what the box is doing. So get the water going and take it from there. So this pump here, this is one you need to prime yourself, so... Ah, man. There it goes. There we go, get some water for the pump. This one you gotta uh, put water in it before you start it. So we'll fill this bad boy up and we'll give her a start. I'm not really even sure what kind of pump this is. It's got a Honda motor. It's a Honda 160. Just like a trash pump. And we just got the, the line coming down. We don't have a foot valve, so we're going to make sure that it's off the gravel so it doesn't suck the gravel in. Uh, we're going to fill her up and get her running. Alright, please start. Please start. We're 12 miles down the beach. If this don't start, we're screwed. Turn the gas on. Chokes on. Full throttle. That's on. Here we go. Uh -oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So we got water flow, so from here it's be easier to adjust the box because we can see how the water's flowing. So hopefully this board here will keep the water from eroding too much and taking our box down. But we'll see. Sand isn't very sturdy at all, so. Yeah. Alright, so obviously the box is way too far to this side so we're gonna mess with it and get it nice and level and we'll be ready to beach mine how's the flow now oh, good. all right it looks good i mean all we gotta do is just uh, it up a little bit more 
Sweet. Uh, no, uh, I'm gonna lower mine. Looks like mine, it's twisted like this a little bit. Okay. So I think my side needs to come down and see how it's like twisted up my way. Oh yeah, okay. Actually stay down there, see if it looks, uh, okay. how it looks. So I'll adjust this one. So it'll come down a little bit. What about one like that? Yeah, that's it. All right. Here. Okay, I think we got it. Nice even flow. You can tell by the water, it's kind of nice and level. The bubbles are, uh, you know, flowing just right. Everything looks good. Might be just a little bit too much water. I can uh, turn it down. But uh, we're ready to go. Okay, shovel away. Shovel away. First scoop, let's see. Hopefully there's gold in the first one. <laughs> yeah, that was a sweet spot. He was doing really good there. We're gonna have gold in every scoop, which is cool. Let's take a look how the material flows. Uh, it's flowing pretty good. That looks good, it cleared up really nice. Uh, the riffles aren't overly cleared. So I think we got it, the angle right. Looks, looks like good. we can shovel fast too. Yeah, we can shovel fast. So uh, we're gonna, He's shoveling away. All right, we're going to shut it down and uh, take a look. Let it run for a sec. Slow her down. All right, hopefully, hopefully when we shut it off, it's not going to push all the sand over on the ripples. We'll, we'll find out. Um, it's all luck and how long it, you know, the gold stays there for. I mean, it might just be a small error we're in or could be this whole area I mean who knows let's see so far oh yeah this is just lines and lines and lines and lines of gold all over wow look at all that on that side jeez there's absolutely definitely a gram maybe more this uh, I think we were running a little bit too much fast on the water because it's it's really cleared out yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. so when we start back up I'll reduce the throttle a little bit but but look at all these lines. Dude, there's a gram in there. Huh? Look at all that down in there. Look at that line. Yeah. That's 20 minutes, man. Look. We haven't been doing nothing hard. There's all whole lines. Look at that. Just, it's all it's all in these little riffles. We, yeah, we we're probably running a little too fast because there's some gold down, yeah. down here. But uh, we'll, we'll slow it down when we start back up. But 20 minutes, man. 20 Not minutes bad. a gram. This could be a good day at yeah, the end of yeah. the day. Yeah, uh, so long as our hole holds up. Uh, we're just we're just uh, skimming the, the surface right there. Maybe the first three inches of uh, yeah. material. At just this rate, at this rate, we're looking at 15 grams today. If we could do five yeah. hours, I mean, if we could push hard for five hours. We're yeah. looking at least yeah. 15 grams. Yeah, hell yeah. That's just, sweet, dude. Sweet. All right. Uh, 50 bucks. Yeah, we just stopped, take a look at the box. We're gonna grab a quick drink and get right back to work. Yeah. We're gonna go for the big money today. Woo! Mini grams. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, we've been uh, running for, I don't know, a little while, at least an hour, hour and a half. Uh, we're going to take like a five minute break and take a look at the box. And if there's a lot of gold in there, we're, we're actually going to clean it out. Um, real quick, it's super easy to clean these mats out. So um, if they're kind of packed with gold, we're going to just clean it out and uh, start fresh. Won't take long, probably like 10 minutes. So what do you think? You seeing gold in there? Yeah, I see gold. I see gold in every ripple. Yeah, really? Here. I mean, I see gold even back here, but... See, it's really lit up right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see all the lines right there. Yeah, maybe we should uh, turn it down and clean it out. It takes nothing to clean these mats. Yeah, yeah. And then we can also, when we clean it, we'll pour it in our pan and let everybody see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what we got. Okay. All right, yeah. Sure yeah, sure enough. I'm going to bring the bucket up. I'll clean out, uh, we'll empty the mat into this little blue bucket here. Ugh. But yeah, no, uh, so far, you know, we, Gary kind of did this little section here, and I've been working in that little section there. So we didn't move really much material. I mean, there's our tailings there. We probably moved a uh, truck, pickup truck load, I would say. Um, so yeah, we're gonna uh, take a quick look, see how much gold we got so far. All right, take a look. Oh yeah, there's lines of gold in there. 
it's real fine gold, but it's gold. Yeah, lines and lines of it, cool. Look at it. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I mean, uh, when you turned it off too, the sand kind of fell over the lines. But... Yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to get quite a bit back up in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, these mats are super easy to clean out, so yeah, we might as well just take them out. Yeah. And just give them a quick clean. Take a look, see and what then, we got. And uh, then we'll see if it's worth staying right in this particular area and move down the beach a little bit. Yeah. We'll find out. Cool. Well, we'll just clean the box out, so. See what it is. I'm just going to do a speed pan. We're, we're saving it. We'll bring the cons back and. Gonna do it really nice back in the boat. Okay, he's just gonna do a speed pan right now and uh that's yeah, gold, cool. rich. I mean that's probably two grams. Yeah. So we got two grams, probably about an hour, hour and a half maybe. So I mean you hit it hard all freaking day. But yeah, no. A couple of grams with what you lost and everything, probably two. Yeah, probably two grams so far. Um, I don't know what you think, it's still worth going or I'm if you thinking I'm travel thinking, down the yeah, beach a little bit. I'm thinking we go down there. Do some more test pans? Yeah, yeah, go do it a little bit down there and see, right. see if we can find something better. I mean I thought this was look better, but yeah, I think uh, I think we got majority of it. The test pans we did up top are fantastic, but as we we're digging down, we're running out of material. It's getting a little yeah, exactly. less gold. So uh, yeah, I think I was getting really good right here on top of the slave. Yeah, yeah, we still have a lot of hose. Maybe another 25, 30, 40 feet we can go down. So maybe about down to the yeah, rock. we'll go over here and do a couple test pans and test around for a little bit. Yeah. Well, cool. We just uh, we stopped. We took a look at the boxes. Probably about two grams in there yeah i'm a little bit less than what we're expecting for the time that we spent uh, we did a lot of work so after we split it you know it's only a gram each so we kind of did the math and figured um it's probably the spot's not probably paying out um it's that good but uh it was fun we had a fun day um we're gonna go back to the boat and clean this up and do a true measure but you know i don't think there's much more than two grams but maybe even a little bit less so it was fun great time uh we did find a super hot spot another 100 feet down but the problem is the box can't handle it and uh uh we can drive the truck back and forth and everything um you know fill up the dirt right where gary's standing uh we found a really really great spot uh gary's pacing it out right now maybe uh we can go get some uh some more lay flat hose and move the box down there but um, it's just too it would take too much time to shovel it into the truck and then bring it right here and then shovel it in there It's just that's when you waste your time, you know for the amount of gold you get But if we can put the box over there, we would do way way better. We think it's a really great little uh, area Another hundred feet all right All right even so, if we have to carry it a little bit, it's all right. Yeah. So, if we have another 100 feet of hose, we can get down there. And there, there's a lot of area to keep us busy for a while. Yeah. And uh, you had to dig a little bit, and you're about six inches down. But on the clay layer there, that we were getting really big pieces. Yeah. It's well worth working there. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's showing probably twice as much color. Here, yeah. But they're bigger pieces, too. Right, yeah. So yeah it's well worth it. so yeah we're just gonna pack up we'll uh we'll go to the boat we'll uh we'll see what we got we'll put that through the little mini sluice and uh find out for for sure but we're not expecting much maybe a gram or two probably two two grams but whatever we'll see what it is so we're packing up and uh we're gonna maybe attack it um with some longer hose and get to that yeah. new spot maybe come back tomorrow and yeah again we gotta see um Vern's coming back tomorrow uh later in the day so i don't think we're gonna go out on the big boat so if Vern doesn't come back or our, ne our next bad weather day, whenever that will be, we'll, we'll hit this and uh, we're definitely coming, coming back. back. To that spot. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, we'll see you back in the boat. Here we are back in the boat. So I, I took all of our cons and uh, ran it through this little keen mini sluice here. It's still kind of uh, washing out. I, I just finished, so there's still a little bit of material in here. Sometimes I gotta push this flat down to get that little pool of water out of the header box that really does. so I'm just gonna let that clean off a little bit it's not looking great it's yeah maybe one or two grams out you know I'm, I'm not really sure 
All right, she's been running for a little bit. Should be uh, cleared out enough. Take a look. There it is. So, not very much. But, we'll pan it out, see what we get. Here it is. This is the final result right here. I'm just kind of trying to wash that black sand out. But yeah, probably a couple grams in there so far. So I'm just going to keep at it, get that black sand out of there, then lay it up. Oh my god, dude, that ain't nothing right <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we finished cleaning it. Here's the results in the bottle here. We'll cook it up, lay it up. Here we got. There it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, it started out great. I mean, the first couple of pans we did were killer. But still, an hour and a half. So tar terrible. I mean, it's all right. I've seen worse. What do you think? Two? Mm -hmm. Two and a half. Two? Two and a half. Is that two and a half? We'll see. get the scale ready we'll see what we got all right gold's all dry it's a little bit stuck in the corner there that's all right we'll come over here get the scale ready turn it on uh that's that's two grams i think we'll see let's see One. Oh, that's disappointment. One six five. One six five. That was gonna be two. There's a little bit left in there, but not much. Yeah, we made about seventy five dollars today. <laughs> okay, well we thought we were gonna do good. The first couple test pans we did looked fantastic, so that's no. why we thought we we're gonna kill it. No. But then after an hour and a half, we stopped looking at the box. It wasn't as good as we thought so we test pan down the i don't know 100 feet away and there's really good gold yeah. but it's just on yeah. the clay yeah so plan is maybe we can get a, another 100 foot roll of uh yep. uh lay flat yeah. try it again yeah we went down uh like you said about 100 feet from this and we actually got probably twice the gold maybe yeah even, it was chunkier even, yeah gold. and chunky gold it was all chunky so yeah we definitely got to move down this yeah. is no good yeah the gold that we got in that hole you can see it's really fine gold uh, not many chunkies at all. There's one chunky that I put in there, but so one six six. Well, I mean, uh, better than sleeping in and doing nothing all day, right? That's right. <laughs> At least we made seventy dollars. So. Everybody, we made a little bit of gold. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Well, we'll see you next time. Yeah. All right, later.